consider the equation 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. On solving, we have x is equal to 5 by 2 or 2.5. Let's represent this solution on a number line. So take up the number line. Show the markings on it. Clearly, 5 by 2 or 2.5 lies between 2 and 3. So we have marked it here, 5 by 2, which lies between 4 by 2 and 6 by 2. So just mark off that point and call it x is equal to 5 by 2. So this is how we represent the root or the solution of this linear equation on a number line. That is geometrically on a number line. So this is the representation when we treat this linear equation as an equation in one variable x. Now we know that this equation can also be treated as a linear equation in two variables x and y. In that case we need to make a table since on solving we have x is 2.5 or 5 by 2 x is always 5 by 2 for any value of y. I repeat to prepare this table showing the x and y values, since x is 5 by 2, it means x is always 5 by 2 irrespective of the values of y. So against y, we could take any value. So x is, when x is 5 by 2, y can be any value, say 3. When x is 5 by 2, y can be any value like say 5. When x is 5 by 2, y can be any value like 10. We could take any values for y. Now when we plot these points on a graph paper, what are the points? 2.5 comma minus 1, 2.5 comma 0, 2.5 comma 1. When these three points are plotted on the graph paper and when we connect the points by a straight line, we will see that the line obtained is a line parallel to the y-axis at a distance of 5 by 2 units to the right of the y-axis. So for this we need to actually plot these three points on the graph paper and verify this result. So we understand that when this linear equation in one variable x is treated as a linear equation in two variables x and y then it is represented by a straight line in the Cartesian plane.